In the last episode of why I love Adobe Premiere Pro, I talked about workspaces, which was the layouts of the windows and the tools that you use while editing. But in this one, I'm gonna talk about how I love the dynamic linking, which is linking between Audition, Premiere Pro, and After Effects, and how you can basically send a file from Premiere Pro to one of these other programs, do changes in them, and it all stays synced within the Adobe little cloud that you pay for every month. First, let's start with looking at how it integrates with Adobe Audition. So if you have an audio file, let's say this person talking right here, which is me, It'll pick song specific. I can go ahead and right click, say edit clip in Adobe Audition, wait for it to render and replace, then it will open it in Audition. So once it's in Audition, let's just put some extreme thing on here, like on the telephone. And now if we take a listen, that is another great option for licensing. Sounds like you're in an old timey telephone. Select everything and click apply. Now wait for the effects rack to add that. So now that effect is now baked in Another large. to this file. And then if I go over to Premiere, wait, one more thing, save, then go over to Premiere. And then you can see here that this should be replaced. Right. They have a formula. So for example, if my... So that's an extreme example, but you can go into Audition to make a noise print and remove some background noise or a hum or add some effects like this and play with the levels of things. And you can bring in all of your audio tracks and it'll actually bring in all those tracks into a multi-track session inside of Audition. So you don't necessarily need to bring in individual clips one at a time. You could bring in your whole timeline of your sequence and play with all the audio at the same time and smooth it out at the end of finishing the video section of what you're making. So Audition, dynamic linking, being able to change things and bring in an audition quickly, make adjustments. It's much, much better than using the audio effects inside of Premiere. Now let's look at how After Effects works with dynamic linking. You can actually click on an After Effects file that you bring in like this lower third here that I have that animates in and you can replace with an After Effects composition, which means it takes it, brings it all into After Effects and you can do a lot of stuff to it. If you're doing really advanced warp stabilization, the tracking is a little bit better in After Effects than it is in Premiere. You can get a little bit more fine tuned with it, for example. But if you're doing something like this, where maybe you just want to go to the original file, just right click, say edit original, and it should open in After Effects. Here we go, After Effects. You can boot. Go, 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 go. Spinning, ball, spinning, ball. I'm trying to make a tutorial in this. Okay, so it finally opened. So I can go in and I can actually change the text in here by going to, let's see, where is the text? There, so let's say removes, yeah, removes natural movement save, go over to Premiere, and it updates to say it removes natural movement. So that's really, really quick. I can go in, I can make a change in After Effects, I can hit save, and it automatically updates in Premiere Pro. I don't have to do this thing where I export something from After Effects or export something from Premiere, wait for that to finish, then bring it into the others. You just don't have to do that anymore. It's all dynamically linked. You make a change, you make a save, it's there, it's done, it's ready to go. I can re-render and it will play out the new version of this effect. That's huge, that saves so much time, so much time. But that is only one of the reasons why I like Premiere Pro. Like I said in the other video, I like workspaces and there are a lot of other features I like too, but you're gonna have to wait for those ones. Just gonna have to wait. Th they'll, be like, they'll be like three more videos, but until then, I have a free course on Adobe Premiere Pro 101, which will walk you through how to start using the program. If you've never used it before or you've dabbled in it, but you don't feel like you have a good grasp on it, this free course is for you. You can either click on the YouTube card here or you can go to diyvideoguide.com slash free and the course will be on that page as well. Check it out. There's videos on how to set up your workspaces properly, how to import and organize your footage, how to get to your first round of edits, doing color correcting, exporting, covers a lot of stuff and will get you to actually making your first videos in Premiere Pro. 
So thanks so much for watching this video. There'll be a few more videos about other things I like about Premiere Pro, but until then, just use Premiere. It's nice, it's good. I like it. Later.